Welcome back to the channel. In this one, we will go through the entire Webman mod application, what its main purposes are, and how to properly use it. I will also discuss how to safely update it when a new firmware is released, such as the recent 4.91 update, and how to fix some common issues. If you could please leave a like and subscribe to the number one PS3 jailbreaking channel on the platform, no more waffling, no more bull. Let's get into the guide, my boy. So first things first, if you're a complete beginner and you haven't downloaded Webman Mod yet, I will provide a link in the description for you to download from. All you gotta do is drag and drop the file to a USB and then install it via the package file manager. Many tutorials of this are all over YouTube, including on my channel. So once you've got the app ready to go, we can get into each function, starting with the load E launch menu. This is essentially an online storage from your games. If for some reason one of your games doesn't work, or black screens, you can use this method to launch the game. A lot of the time you will find it works. The next part is the Webman setup. This is where you can modify pretty much everything to do with your console's hardware. The main reason people use this feature is to regulate their fan noise. As we all know, a jailbroken PS3 can make one hell of a noise. You can also rearrange folders here and change the location of where certain games are saved. Here you can also access the files to your games to install modified saves. Next is the unmount disk option. You will need to use this feature if you have already loaded a game from Webman, but decide to load another, you will need to eject the first one using this feature first. The other options allow you to refresh your games folder. Let's say for example, one of your games wasn't showing up after installing, then you would refresh the folder to find it. Some of the other options include temperature control, accessing your PS3's cache, restating and shutting down. If you go ahead and click on update Webman mod, this is where you'll be able to reinstall the app in the event of it crashing your console. On here, you will also find a list of various different homebrew applications you can download. If you don't have them, no need to plug a USB in to download the apps already loaded to Webman. You can even find Multiman on this list. A video has been made on this app that you can find in the description. So that is a run through of all the features you can find on the app. But a big question I get all the time is how do I fix common issues with loading games? Well, as I said, the first method would be to try launch the game via the e-launcher. This often fixes many black screen issues you can run into when trying to play games. Another issue people often get when launching Webman is the app itself crashing your console after installing now can be due to a number of reasons. The first main one is that you're running an old version of Webman compared to your firmware. If you've had the app a while, it's worth updating to the newest version by visiting the description. The second main thing that might be causing it is your PS3 not being compatible with the app. If you have managed to jailbreak your ultra slim PS3, then you will be that guy who runs into such issues very often this is because Sony made that version of the PS3 almost UN jailbreakable. I mean, it's possible, but you will run into issues constantly. Well, that was the Webman guide for 2024. It's a complex app to know how to use properly, as even I still don't know fully what the app can do. However, that is the vast majority of what you'll need to know in order to have a smooth jailbreaking experience every time you load up. I hope you have enjoyed guys. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for the number one PS3 channel on the platform. Take care guys and peace.